Hello and welcome back. I'm Melinda Bigley and today I am on the beautiful, wonderful Altair 2 and I wanted to show you guys another way to do a knockdown stitch which is something that you place on a towel and then you're able to do monogramming and so forth. So let's take a up close look at this. Okay, I did it in double color and let's show you how to do that. They're fun to do either, um, and I've talked a lot about this, so I know you guys have heard about this, but this is not a design that I've shown you before. Um, they are not only good when you are needing them to knock down high loft fabrics, they are also great for um, aesthetic purposes. So let's go into IQ and figure out how to do this. Let's go to our shape key, and you can select any of these. Let's look, we can do, well, let's keep it simple so that you can see the, you can actually see the fill itself. So let's go up to our line properties and let's select with default is your satin stitches, you guys know. Um, but let's pick a different color and then I'm going to affect the width of that in when we get into the editing portion. Okay, so I just hit that little paint bucket and applied that property. Let's go into fill properties. And our extra fills, our fancy fills, are right in this little area. And with your upgrade, if you guys had an, an Altair like I do and upgraded it, you have several new fills. And I believe we had 14 before or something like that. But um, this is the one we're gonna use today. It's number eight. I'll say okay. I'm going to select the blue. You can do any color you want, but that says you guys know that's my favorite. So we're going to drop that right into the square. Let's go to next and let's grab this little editing portion right here because I want to I want to shrink the size of that down to 50% and I'm going to set. And let's go into preview. See what that looks like. Okay, so you can see a dramatic difference there, right? Let's go ahead and use, actually, you know what I wanna do first is I want to enlarge that, the, um, this stitch right here, our, our frame. So we're gonna to go to the zigzag width. As you know, uh, this uh, satin stitch is simply a, a, a zigzag stitch, very short stitches, obviously, so they pile up like that. So let's set and preview, say okay. Okay, so we've got a nice wide satin stitch and I will, we'll, I will show you what we're gonna do with that next. So we're gonna say set. Okay, so we're going to add, we wanna add another layer. We're gonna go into IQ. I'm gonna grab that square again and I didn't size it, so I know that's the correct size. So what you can do, and I've shown you guys a bunch of times how you can layer your uh, line properties. Let's do, a, B, a triple stitch and let's do green. Say okay. So I'm going to hit that paint bucket and then apply the property to that. And you see it, you probably saw the black go away. Might be hard <clears throat> to see the green now, but let's fix that. So let's go back into our fill properties, go into select, and we're going to pick the exact same one again. Number eight. Say okay. I'm gonna change the color to green, okay? And we're going to drop that right in there. Now, if you wanna do the layered fill or you wanna do the layered um, line property for your finished product, you're gonna to wanna to do this on the Altair in a specific order so that that triple stitch stitches over the top of your satin stitch, okay? So you'd wanna do this second, obviously. So now let's, oops, let's do our, that was my puppy hitting that. He loves to, he loves to roll around and hit the little camera. So I just, I just um, reduced the size of that fill to 50%. Now what I wanna do is actually we'll go into preview because that's all we needed to do there. We've got our, our uh, bean or triple stitch and our uh, 
preview of that little fill. We're gonna say set. Now we're dropping it right into on top of the other. That's not what we wanna finish with, however. So because that's the last, um, the last design I added, we're gonna to go to rotate and it will rotate that green, okay? So now what we've got is that beautiful design. So you can do whatever you want. You can add, um, and this, it's, it's a boring look, obviously, because you've just got a square. You can change that um, however you want to. So you could do the flower or whatever and change the color, but it comes out to be a really aesthetically pleasing fill that's now not just utilitarian in its purpose and stitching and, and pressing down on those fibers, like if you're stitching out a terry cloth towel, now it's actually also pretty so you can use colors in your in your uh, threads that show up and whatever your uh, decor is you know if, you, if you've got green decor you can match that with those or whatever you guys know how to do that stuff okay so lots of fun on that i just wanted to show you how neat it is when you double up and rotate your fills you come up with something pretty special so that is our, our, our lesson for today. I hope that was fun for you and hopefully you learned something new that you can try. If you did, let me know. I really love hearing from you guys to know that these are, are helpful for you. So I really appreciate all the feedback I get. I, I honestly, I keep, keep doing this because it's helping you guys. Um, so that's wonderful to hear. If you haven't joined So Blessed Quilting and Embroidery Facebook group, please do so. Uh, we have lives every Thursday at 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, and a whole lot of fun happens in that group. So thank you again for watching. I really appreciate it, and I will see you all soon. Have a so blessed day. Bye-bye.